I guess the easy answer is, I need the money. My younger sister is often sick, and she really looks up to me, when everybody else won't even look at me. I don't really have any friends, but Lauren, that's her name, she's my best friend. And I know how pathetic that sounds. Sometimes I wonder why she even likes me. I mean, she reads a lot of books. I, I never read. In fact, at night after my mom goes to bed, I sneak into her room and she tells me all about the books she's reading. She'll just talk and talk and talk until finally she falls asleep. It should be the other way around, but this way works well for us. I don't know if I'll be any good at this job, but I think I'm an okay brother. It doesn't make sense. Why am I getting fresh meat in the middle of winter? Why now? Whose nephew are you? Galen? Galen Yamamoto. Or is it Scorzato? Oh, Mally? Don't be coy. Come clean. I know how the world works. Am I boring you, rookie? Life is boring me. Ow. What is this? That's my ear. You think your boyish good looks are going to save you out there on the streets? You've got to be stalwart and lucky. Mostly lucky. I don't want to be the one holding your mother back as she's sobbing, reaching for your body, lying in the street, dead from a gunshot wound. It's the suburbs. There's nothing worse than a mother losing her baby boy. Especially when he's as adorable as you are. Who's your favorite musician? Chris Gaines. What's your favorite movie? Are we speed dating? Have you ever been to the zoo? But I'm not going to the zoo with you, pervert. Do you hear that street out there? Just beyond these walls? That's the zoo. And we're gonna be in the cage with those animals and I need to know that you will take a bullet. Will you die for me? <laughs> no. Any other questions? What's your name? Meat Camp. Okay, I'm not gonna call you that because I don't feel comfortable calling a grown man Meat Camp. Between six and midnight, we run these streets. Us and the Mormon missionaries. What is happening, Beth? Hey, it is such a nice day out. This is our new guy, Rookie. Say hi, Rookie. Hi. Do we have any deliveries yet? Yes, sir. There's a couple. OK. Catch you later, girl. See ya. Here we are. Always verify the house digits for the ticket. Aren't you coming? It's not rocket science. This is the most important part of your training. It's too cold, I'll just wait here. <sighs> Suit yourself, Ricky. Suit yourself. Will you please come to the door with me from now on? Yes. Thank you. I appreciate it. Meat Camp told me he was training you. What are you drawing? It's a rocket ship.
Well, I've got blueprints for a time machine. It's not possible. Well, Einstein would disagree with you. Blueprints? I think we should blend our ideas. I like your rocket ship. Maybe we could brainstorm a little bit. Have you ever heard of a scrum? You don't need a rocket for time travel. Well, look who's the expert now on time travel, because he can draw a cartoon rocket ship. I'm not an expert. Look, I've actually got a patent on my design. Hmm. Yeah, go ahead, shrug it off. If somebody else designs a time machine before you, don't you think they would take their time machine, go back in time, submit their patent no. before yours? <laughs> Look, there's a code of ethics, a core morality between time travelers that you hipster artists wouldn't understand. It's ethos, bro. Good evening. I've got one medium smoldering Hawaiian pizza and a large penetrating sausage. You ordered the thin crust, which I think was brilliant. Sweet. Five dollar tip. <laughs> Need a thesaurus just to keep up with you. What was wrong with that door? Too much eye contact? <laughs> Trick question. I didn't do anything wrong at that door. That was perfect. We all go to the park after work. You should come. Oh, I, I can't eat in public. Anxiety. But I'll come hang. I've got a medium full flavored pizza here, half Canadian bacon, black olives, pepperonis, and breakfast bacon. The other half is sprinkled with our triple cheese powder keg. Now, you've also got a side of brownie bites here, and I've got to say, I really respect a family that can combine their chocolates and their pizzas. It'll be 24.33, and if I wasn't on duty, I'd ask if I could join you. Hey guys, is that the order for the smarts? Everything okay? Good evening, Mrs. Smart. I've got one large hot pepperoni and an even hotter Hawaiian with extra pineapple. It'll be $23.98 and thank you for ordering from Scarecrow Pizza. It happens. Don't beat yourself up over it. I can't even deliver a pizza. I'm a social retard. I remember my first door. Didn't go well either. It's a dark night, raining. I can still hear the sound of the raindrops hitting the pavement. The cardboard on the pizza box. I rang the doorbell and he answered. I opened the pizza box to show him. Empty. Our cook at the time had thought it would be funny for the new guy to deliver empty pizza boxes. It was just weighted down with some paper in it so I wouldn't know the difference. The guy looked at me, fire in his eyes. I'll never forget that feeling of humiliation, terror not knowing what to do next. I drove around for hours. I couldn't even go back to the pizza parlor. I guess there's just no way to really prepare a man for this kind of job. It's not an easy job, but it's needed. We play an integral role in this society as a pizza delivery person. You can do this. I believe in you.
I'm sure it's not going as bad as you think. He just won't... I'm sorry. I don't mean to blame him. It's my fault. I just... I can't get through to him. It takes a little time. We just tried our first door, and it was a disaster. He didn't know what to say. He froze. I heard about your first door. My first door was cold. No training. You have me training now. He shouldn't have to go through the humiliation that I did. It's daunting when the door first opens. You never know what's going to be on the other side. Nerves. Training is supposed to ease those nerves. And I failed him. And I failed you. And I failed the original Scarecrow Pizza Bar. You didn't fail him. You certainly didn't fail me. Do you know how absurd that last sentence even sounded? My confidence is shattered. Help yourself to some garlic knots and brownie bites. You'll survive. You're not mad. I'm always mad at something. I need that anger. Gives me that edge I need to manage you animals. Won't start. No. <laughs> All right. Well, go jump in my car, stay warm. I'll see what I can do. Well, can you fix it? Oh, absolutely. So is this your first night? Yeah. Yeah. Sweet. Well, it's not like I'm any help. So how long? I have had been an abortion. You? Oh yeah. Yeah. I guess I just need to say it out loud. You know, verbalizing it makes me feel a little less guilty. Sweet, I think he got it. Well, you're all set. Thank you. Yeah, she just needed a little TLC. <laughs> awesome. Hey, um, you know, he's a good kid. Well, that's yet to be determined. <laughs> I think I come off of too serious. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you do. <laughs> <laughs> Carpe noctem. Carpe noctem. You okay? Feels like church in here. The face is all glazed over. You got the look of a customer in a strip joint. When the lap dancer starts going into her personal life. Women are complicated. I'm an idiot. Now, you might be a lot of things, but an idiot is not one of them. Don't even say things like that. You were right, you nailed it. it. Does kind of feel like church in here. And amen to women being complicated. When you're strange, faces come out of the I know that you're really, really stressed right now because of finding out that uh, we're pregnant, but please don't go to the lake after work today. I really, really need you right now. I'm freaking out too. Well, we should probably get back to La Casa. I come out here sometimes just to relax. You know, you should probably find a place like this yourself. I'm sorry. I know that I blew it back there. You did everything you could, but no. I'm sorry. I was your trainer, and I didn't prepare you. I blew it. Tonight has been amazing. I mean, at the cafe, I'd wondered what I'd gotten myself into, but as night progressed and through the ballyhoo, have you ever read one of those twist plot books? Like one from a bookmobile. Yeah, tonight was just like that. It was incredible. Every second was rushing by like a locomotive with, with the danger and the peril and the ambivalence. I could feel the blood rushing through my veins. And I've suffered from allergies my whole life, but tonight they were only mildly annoying because I could smell other things like, like pizza and perfume and commerce. 
I don't think it's the job. You're in love. What? No, I couldn't. You are. You've got it bad. Wait a minute, though. These feelings aren't directed towards me, are they? You can look. Just don't touch. Closer than I am. <laughs> You're it. <laughs> you know what? I don't even like beer. I just wanted you to think that I was cool. Does beer make you cool? I guess not. Because neither one of us are cool right now. <laughs> Speak for yourself. I'm cool. Right now. <laughs> Do you have a curfew? I'm old enough to vote. But yeah, it's midnight. <laughs> you know, my grandma always told me that I will know when I'm an adult when I can set my own curfew. You should smile more. Never had a reason to. In the Wizard of Oz, what is the scarecrow missing? Um, hold on, I, I got it. It's a, no, a brain? Exactly. Right, that's... Exactly. Well, I mean, you gotta, you gotta take it this way. Uh, I'm getting paid. Kelly Carpenter. Hey, I see you degenerates <laughs> never change. Hey, if it's fixed, don't break it, right? And there he is, Rookie of the Year. Hey, leave him alone, you animal. <laughs> Come here, Rookie. I want you to meet Kelly. Kelly, Rookie. Hey. Hey. How you doing? You dry? I used to. I had to give it up. My old lady went and killed the rabbit. They used to call this guy the farmer because of all the seed he spread at 84095, right? Nobody ever called me that. In the room. Hey, is this yours? You know what, yeah, because I'm his property, like in the Middle East. You know, because I, I cook for him, and I clean, I do all his laundry. I even ride in the backseat of his car. Whoa, a feminist scorned. You haven't seen scorned yet, caveman. Whoa, watch. I just found out that uh, my lady's pregnant. Yeah, dude, we're hiring. Come down Monday. Thanks. Yeah, you bet. Uh, walk down by the lake? Have a tickle fight? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I didn't want you to have to see that side of me. You shouldn't have said that. I overreacted. No, well, I don't think you did. You know, you have an old soul. I don't believe in ghosts. <laughs> You're so weird. Sorry. I guess I should learn your name now. Cause soon I feel you're gonna carry us away In a promised life you lead us through you For many men there's so much grief And my mind is proud but it aches with the rage And if I live too Strangers on this road, we are one. We are not two, we are one. Strangers on this road, we are one. We are not two, we are one. Strangers on this road.